know exercise is good for us. So uh, the question is, is it something that we should be forced to do? So uh, a writer for Bloomberg argues <laughs> that really? some people are, are saying, yeah. Um, so a writer for Bloomberg argues that since research proves that fitness improves cogni cognition and also job performance, it should be mandated in the workplace. Yes. Mm. All right, do we agree with this? I'm gonna actually disagree with this and I know that's gonna be surprising. You're an athlete. I'm an athlete, I know, I know, but hear me out. I think movement and exercising should become from a place of joy and pleasure. And I totally think you're gonna feel happy, you're gonna feel good, it's good for your body. But if we're forcing people to do mm -hmm. this, I think it's giving the wrong idea. And a lot of people have this idea around training where it's like, oh, I don't wanna do it, it's gonna be so hard. And it's like, you shouldn't feel like that. I think open space in the workplace for people to work out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give them an hour, we, give, we have a lunch break, this is your workout break, give them an hour and create a culture that makes people want to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, forcing people's not, you don't want to do, yeah. well, nobody mm -hmm. wants to be told what to do. You know, you're absolutely right. You make a valid point, but we, this already exists. It's called recess. <laughs> it's called recess, where twice during the day you leave and you are forced to go outside for 15 you minutes. Kids, like yeah, for kids, yeah, yeah, for children, yeah, for children. To go and get some fresh air, so they're trying to mandate a recess, which, you know, I. I I hear what you're saying. No one wants to be forced, and I like this idea, but I feel like these companies always get it wrong. Someone's always coming up with some great idea where it's like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pay you to work out. We're gonna force you to work out. What are people asking for? Because I, what I hear is they want to increase in pay. Mm. They want shorter work weeks. They want shorter work days. They want to have a little bit more of a balance. I don't hear anybody saying, yes, please, company that I work for and I spend 40 to 60 hours a week, <laughs> force me also to work out. So I feel like, I don't know where they're getting these ideas, but once again, it feels like the company are here and their ideas and the employees are over here going, what are you guys talking about? This is not what we want. Well, I think we know that mental health issues are like, you know, rampant. And I think that we also know the connection between exercise and positive mental health outcomes. And so I think this idea that we sit, especially, it depends on your type of job, obviously, mm -hmm. but the, think about the corporate environment where you're sitting for days. I mean, imagine if we started to normalize people being like walking. I know some companies are, are doing this kind of thing, mm -hmm. like just going walking out for meetings? walking meetings yeah. or mm -hmm. even just like uh, this morning on the morning meeting, I was like, I can't, I'm not going to sit during this conversation because mm -hmm. I get antsy and I don't mm -hmm. want to do that. Um, so I, I, think I love this idea. You, yeah, I feel like you I would do love, love it. This idea, like I, I think, yes, forcing anybody to do anything, nobody wants that. Um, however, the single reason why I think people are so out of shape anywhere in the world is because of work. We are chained to a desk and a computer in an office. Work has made us very unhealthy, depending on the kind of place. It would be the perfect place mm. to mandate exercise because we never, what's the number one excuse for not working out? I don't have time. Mm -hmm. I don't have time. So if you actually were given an hour to say, hey, this is what you should be doing with your time. I, I think nobody likes to do things even if we know they're good for us. So sometimes we have to be forced. Mm -hmm. We don't want to, we want plastic bags. But then they're like, well, it's bad for the environment. So we have to be forced to pay for it or mm. forced to have reuse. Not what, everything that's good for us has to be something we have to voluntarily do. We're humans kind of yeah. learn the hard way. Yeah, but let's add to that. You're absolutely right, but let's add to that. Also, get rid of those vending machines. We were just talking about vending machines. Sure. Right. For and sure. Then, you know what? Give me some time yes. to have a proper lunch so I can eat healthy. Because half the reason we are overweight, you're right, because we are sitting down at our jobs, but also our diets are horrible. Yes. And a lot of people are sitting at their desks the entire day because you you feel like you're at this job where you can't leave for more than 15 minutes. Get rid of that mm -hmm. and let people go and eat a proper meal. Give them real great access to great food and get rid of that vending machine, whether it's scanning my face or not. It shouldn't yeah. be there to give me sugary and salty snacks. Mm -hmm. And think about what a business will save on the other end if they're not going to be paying for as many therapists, mm -hmm. if they're not going to be paying for your massage I think therapy, though, your to go back For therapy. sure. But I think to go back to your concern, and I do hear you, I do think it should come from a place of pleasure and joy. And I also worry about when you get into that flow state, you know, with your work and you're in the middle of doing something and all of a sudden, what? There's a bing, 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 bing. There's a bell that goes up. Yeah. That can oh, no. really disrupt you. And if you're ending up being forced, like, what's that look like? Someone comes around, your boss comes around, is like knocking on your door, being like, get outside. Oh my God, like, that's my I dream. Think, like, I wish I was I think the best key to mental health at workplace is to give people, to let people be the authors of what yeah. works listen to for them. them. Exactly. Yes. To listen to, to them. them to get them to figure it out. And then the and boss encourage. says, then the boss says, go start your own business. <laughs> right? Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.